Okay. Oh, I, uh, okay. Let me unmute Sam because that's not going to go very well, is it? All right, Sam, are you there? I'm, I've unmuted myself, Alice. Can oh, you there we go. Yes, we yep. can hear you now. That's good. Okay. All right, good morning. All right, yeah. good morning, everybody. Um, so I'm going to open up in prayer first. Father God, I just want to thank you that we can actually spend this time together, that people have taken time out of their schedules and their days to make this happen. Um, it's different schedules and very different days, but we're still making the time to do this. And I thank you, Father God, that we all have open hearts. We all have... Um, ears that are ready to listen to your word. And I just thank you, Father God, for the love you show us each and every day. Amen. Amen. Okay, so I think you can all see by my other screen what the theme for today is. And it's, um, it's Footprints in the Sand. So I'm going to read through the poem for you. So Footprints in the Sand. One night I dreamed I was walking along the beach with the Lord. Many scenes from my life flashed across the sky. In each scene, I noticed footprints in the sand. Sometimes there were two sets of footprints. Other times there was one only. This bothered me because I noticed that during the low periods of my life, when I suffered from more anguish, sorrow or defeat, I could see only one set of footprints. So I said to the Lord, you promised me that if I allowed you to walk with me always. But I have noticed that during most of the time, trying periods of my life, there has only been one set of footprints in the sand. Why, when I needed you the most, have you not been there for me? The Lord replied, the times when you have only seen one set of footprints, my child, is when I carried you. So basically what I wanted to point out in that and what God kept saying to me is that, you know, I'm sure if we take the time now and look back, we can all find periods in our lives when it was hard. And with hindsight, we can see that God was there and God um, was literally carrying us. But I think what a lot of us tend to do now, if we, if we take back another childhood memory, if I got in the car as a young child with my dad, um, it could be late at night, I have no idea where we're going, but I knew he was in control and he had it sorted. And I'd quite happily fall asleep and not give it a second thought. Um, another image that keeps coming back to me is that um, if we'd gone out to a restaurant or something and I'd fallen asleep and my dad picked me up to carry me, even if I woke up a little bit, as soon as I realized that I was safe, that I was in my father's arms, I'd quite happily relax, you know, and just go back to sleep and know that he got me. And I think we need to do that. I think a lot of the times we get so, God's got me, God's got me, but we're so stiff and so afraid. That's not how we'd be if we literally had our earthly father carrying us. We would relax. We would know that he's got this. And it's just to give us all a better sort of image or picture in our heads that God has got this. He has got the destination and plan. The harder it gets, the, the more he's holding us to him. It's, it's not, we're never, ever on our own. Even if we're sitting in our homes on our own, we're never alone without God. Beautiful. <laughs> I love it's it. <laughs> it's a short one, but it's a powerful one. Hey, yeah. Let me. Uh, do you want to pray, Sam? And then maybe if we have a time of prayer, and are people happy to unmute themselves as we as we go yeah. this morning? That's great. So, Father God, I just thank you that you do have this. You do have us. You've got us. You're holding us safe. And we just need to relax in your presence, Father God. Enjoy that warmth. Enjoy that comfort. And that knowing that you have us, that you're holding us safe. And Father God, I thank you that we have a Father who will never, ever abandon us. The tougher it gets, the tighter you hold on. We just need to relax and do the same. Just hold on to you. Bask in your love and your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. If we pray and then if people unmute themselves when they want mm -hmm. to speak. Amen, Father. Lord, we thank you for, Lord, that wonderful picture, Lord, that Sandra shared, Lord of, Lord, of her, Lord, when she was a child and just been in her father's arms, Lord, and there is, Lord, I think, Lord, she